Hey everybody, it's Christine. I'm going to do three things in this video today. I'm going to do a book haul from my March book haul. I'm going to do my currently checked out from the library. Uh, and I'm going to show you the books that I'm going to be reading for Genrethon. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, I forgot to haul these last month, but I did get them in my February L crate, and that's The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry and The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. Um, the Love That Split the World, I still have to do a book review on it, and I will, I've tried taping it two or three times. It just doesn't come out right, so I'm going to try it again, but that will be a thing. Then, um, I asked my husband for this book for Christmas, and he couldn't get it. And I like having reference books. I have a few of them for sewing. And I've been wanting this book for a while, and it's the Couture Sewing Techniques by Claire B. Schaefer. And it's just a, you know, visual, well, no pictures on that page, the visual stuff and references on how to do a little bit harder sewing techniques, hence the name Couture. Then I went to Value Village. My daughter needed to get a shirt for her grad photos. And, of course, I stumbled on a couple of books, not too many. They are World War Z, or actually in Canada it would be World War Z, by Max Brooks. Um, I know it's about a zombie apocalypse, and I haven't read any zombie books yet, and I've been wanting to because they fascinate me. And then I finally found this for a five dollars, and it's Stephen King's Eleven Twenty Two Sixty Three. So when I find a Stephen King book that I um, don't have and it's a good price, then obviously I'm going to grab it. I don't know when I'm going to read this one, but I will read it. And then, of course, in my March Owl Crate box, I got The Serpent King by Jeff Sentner and The 642 Tiny Things to Write About by the San Francisco Writers, Writers Grotto. So, actually, my husband and my daughter have been having fun with that one. So, next is the currently checked out. These are the library books. I still have some from the last currently checked out, but if you've been here for a while, you know that I like to have lots of books so that I have lots of variety. So, my son was in the middle grade section, and also, if you, I don't know how much I've said about it, but I'm obsessed with the Titanic and anything about it. Um, love it, fascinates me, always has. So I found these by Gordon Corman, Titanic Book 1, Unsinkable, Book 2, Collision Course, and Book 3, SOS. Uh, I just, I think it's like a fake story about people on the Titanic. Then I have Dance with the Devil, A Memoir of Murder and Loss by David Bagby, uh, nonfiction, true crime. I've missed reading about it, and so I decided to grab it. It's about a young doctor named Andrew Begby was divorced, and the, uh, they found his body uh, and the um, suspected killer is his ex-girlfriend, which would be her. Shirley Turner is her name. I think I read this years and years ago. I'm not sure. But I decided to pick it up. Then I got Zombie by Darren Shan. I've heard of this, um, you know, zombie books. And I'm also doing the um, oh, A to Z book challenge and blind author challenge. So these will this will cover two of them. Uh, then I got Until the Twelfth of Never the Deadly Divorce of Dan and Betty Broderick by Bella Stumbo. Oh. I think I've read some, I've read one of her, not uh, her books, but about Betty Broderick. And that one, she just w goes crazy. So I thought I'd pick this one up. And if you didn't know, she kills her ex husband and his new wife. And I grabbed Shake the Devil Off 
for, uh, by Ethan Brown, True Story of the Murder That Rocked New Orleans. I've never heard of this. Um, for once, my the branch of library that I went to um, doesn't tend to have newer stuff. So when I seen these ones, I decided to grab them because I haven't seen them before. And I don't know, I've never heard of this case. Um, it's... about a guy that was in Iraq. Well, yeah, I don't tend to read the synopsis too much, especially for true crime, because I know I'm going to read it anyways. And I seen this one there, and it's stuff I don't normally read. It, it is nonfiction, but it, it I did read the synopsis on the back, and it fascinated me, and it's The Bone Woman, A Forensic Anthropologist Search for Truth in Rwanda, Bosnia, Croatia, and Kosovo by Clea Koff. And I'll read the back. It's at <coughs> sorry. At 10.30 in the morning on Tuesday, January 9th, 1996, I was on a hillside in Rwanda doing what I had always wanted to do. I took stock of my surroundings as though taking a photograph. I looked up, banana leaves. Down, a human skull. To my left, more banana leaves. I was placing red flags in the dark soil wherever I found human remains. Let's put it this way. I ran out of flags. So that, that suckered me and that pulled me right in. And then I, I don't remember putting this on hold, but I think maybe because I'm looking for a certain type of book, um, they put it on hold for me. And it's So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. And it's about stuff being put on the internet and you get shamed for it. A whole bunch of different instances I think. So I thought I'd give that a run. And so the last four books are what I'm going to be reading for genre thought. And it has been ho being hosted by Kirsten from Vienna Waits Books. I think that's what the name is. Brittany at Under the Radar Books. Joss from Scr Joss Scribbles Reads or Joss Scribbles Reads. So oh, I can't even talk today. Joss from Squibbles Reads and Lauren from Lauren and the Books. And there, I think, is a giveaway. So I'll put all the links to their um, channels about the genre-thon down below. And I believe you have to comment on Brittany's at Under the Radar Books if you want to be included in the giveaway. And the genre-thon runs from April 10th to the 17th, I believe. And what they want you to do is either read from genres that you're not comfortable reading from or reading from genres that you don't normally go to and what was the other thing? they want you to read I think at least from four different genres you can have as many books as you want but it has to be from four different genres so like for instance new adult uh, fantasy science fiction nonfiction so I chose four and I'm going to be reading Stormfront from Jim Jim Butcher. And this is sci-fi. And I think it's book one in a series. I couldn't tell you which one it was. Dresden. Dresden Files. Or not Dresden Files, but... Uh, yeah, I know it's science fiction, though. I'm pretty sure. magic he can get a guy killed so then I just happened to see this on a couple people's channels but um, oh, I cannot remember her name Joe I think anyway um, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows. And it's a fiction, but it's historical fiction. And it's right around World War II time or just afterwards. So that's my um, historical fiction. Then, or was that fantasy? And this is sci-fi. I might have to check on that. 
These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Meg Megan Spooner. I've been wanting to read this for a while and my library finally got it. And this is sci-fi. Yeah, I wonder what this is. What it would be classified as. Fantasy. So, fantasy and science fiction are covered. And then, when I went and picked this up, I did not expect it to be this size. But I don't tend to read a whole lot of um, graphic novels. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm... I don't know how, if I have to be in the mood for it, but anyways, I picked up Blankets by an illustrated novel by Craig Thompson. And I've been seeing it a lot on book, BookTube, and I've just thought, mm, I'm going to try it. And my library got it. And, yeah. So it's, it's black and white, which drives me nuts sometimes, but... I did not expect it to be that thick. From what I had seen on other people's channels, it didn't look that big. So, my genre-thon will be four different books from four different genres. If I add anything else, then I will. Um, I don't know if I will. I might even add one of the Titanic books, because it's middle grade. So that would be five books, five genres. So yeah, there's my genre-thon. Uh, book picks. So tomorrow I will be making my Friday Reads video. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys are going to be doing Jonathan. And if so, let me know what you're reading. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry, it got a little rambly, but it's been a long day. It's been a long week. So I hope everybody is having an awesome day. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.